yo what's going on guys welcome back to the channel man it's your boy code name agent <laughs> oh you know it's danger god damn it anyways man i'm back boys let's talk man no sneak peek today but it's fine because we have some things to talk about i've been reading the forums reading the comments and i'm not liking some of the things i'm seeing so i want to address them because honestly i think some of y'all not thinking straight and i want to set you straight before you go down the wrong path all right love you guys to death i appreciate all the support but like when you guys do stuff or say stuff on my channel keep in mind i read all my comments i read all of them i might not have the time to respond to everybody right because you know your boy gotta go to work your boy gotta pay them bills you know your boy gotta make the money so we can gamble and do all kinds of shenanigans on the channel right but i read all my comments best believe that or at least all the ones i can see right but some of y'all be tripping so we gotta talk um yesterday i posted a video and i seen somebody posted that yo this undoes everything that they did for the anniversary and that kind of rubbed me the wrong way right and i asked a bunch of people on my discord i asked a whole bunch of people in my lives like what is this guy talking about bro so here's the thing some of you guys need to sit down and think carefully because i think some of y'all are thinking you're free to play when you're actually something else right because you see super giant getting a uniform you see Call of Sidian getting a uniform. You see Corvus Glaive getting a uniform. You see the possibility of Proxima Midnight and Ebony Ma getting a uniform. And you immediately think this update is like some type of pay to win shenanigan. And I just don't see it. Because every single one of these characters you can get for free. Free to play to me, right? To me means you don't have to pay any money to actually get what you are after. It means you don't have to open your wallet. You don't have to swipe your credit card. You can just log in and play the game. And over time, you can get whatever it is you desire. So what I don't understand is when I see people on the forums or in my comment section or in the discord complaining that, yo, this update is some pay to win piece of garbage before they even see it, by the way, because all they saw was two sneak peeks and I see people tripping already, right? that this completely undoes an anniversary where the future fight team gave out hundreds of dollars worth of free stuff bunch of tier three materials bunch of tier two materials a free tier three character a free transcended character a free mega mythic uniform ticket a free level 70 ticket like they gave away so many free things bro just to say thank you for supporting the game listen to me man if you guys know anything about me you know i'm fair one thing I, I'm, I might be crazy right i might yell a lot i might get over excited about certain things that i just really like but one thing you can never tell me is i'm not fair bro when these guys are doing wrong i go hard i go hard against them and when they're doing right i go just as hard some would say i even go harder <laughs> right but it is what it is so i need some of y'all to just calm down relax and see what the update is look like looking like before like you start saying nonsense like this is some pay to win update yeah if all the black water characters get awakened skills it's gonna be expensive to awaken them because they're gonna cost you the same amount of like uh resources as beta ray build right beta ray build to awaken was like what 1500 uh awakening mats it's a long time ago for me but like it costs one and a half times the regular material to awaken a character like uh, jessica jones or luke cage or whatever so i get it it's expensive but all of these materials you can get from playing the game as long as you have the means to actually get the material that you are after it's not pay to win they just added dispatch missions to the game which allows you to farm extra awakening crystals and mandalay gems you have squad battle at your disposal as well listen to me man if you are free to play you your best like course of action when you see an update like this coming is to sit back and wait allow your favorite content creators or whichever dummy you follow on youtube or reddit or whatever let them waste their money see which one of the characters are good really good like who's the next moon knight who's the next moonshine Who's the next Moonstone? Who's the next Iron Fist? Who's the next Luke Cage? Wait and see. Then just make your decision based on what you like from what you saw. Okay? 
please stop panicking guys and then saying dumb stuff about like yo uh they're ruining the game with more pay to win stuff i literally saw somebody said oh this update is just uniforms uniforms and more uniforms so i in my comments i said to him what would you prefer more new characters right that are really really powerful to make it so that characters like these that are already really weak go even further down the totem pole or would you rather get uniforms for characters who need it i don't understand i am very very much so excited to play with these guys because these guys here's the thing there are characters in the game that are worse than these guys i would like to see a misty knight uniform i would like to see a uniform for sin i would like to see a uniform for dr doom right i would like to see a uniform for lots of different characters there's characters in the game that still don't have their first uniform yet right i would love for them to be playable as well but here's the thing these characters the blackwater characters they're among the worst in the game sure they're expensive but they're among the worst in the game and i like the approach that the future fight team is taking they are reworking the bad characters instead of bringing in more and more characters in the game that's what i like I personally would prefer to play with old characters getting uniforms to make them relevant in 2021 versus getting another, I don't know, Captain America uniform. I love Cap. Sure, he's not at the top of the game anymore, but like I could use a uniform for Call of City and to finally make him playable or a uniform for Supergiant to make her reliable for something than take a, a 12th uniform for Captain America. I'm good off that, bro. I'm good. I'm all capped out. I don't know about you guys. I'm capped out, right? So guys, chill out, man. <laughs> chill out. Let the uh, let the content creators, when these uniforms or whatever come out, when these characters get their tier threes or their awakened skills or whatever, right? Let your favorite content creator waste their money, right? And find out who's good and who's not. And then as a free to play, you decide what you need. I have a free to play account. And what I'm gonna do is basically transcend every character that comes out in this update and moving forward and then test them out and then basically use that knowledge to make sure that my free to play account is the best it could possibly be right so i'm basically suggesting the same thing to you guys bro these characters bros sisters whatever it's man uh these characters they're getting upgrades yes but there's no need to panic sure they're expensive however do you plan to play this game just for like one day and then stop playing? No, right? I, I hope not. If you're playing the game long term, you'll eventually have all the materials you need to build up these characters. You think I built a roster of 240 something characters overnight? That's the problem with a lot of free to play players, to be honest with you. They see a roster from a YouTuber that's been playing the game religiously for like six years straight and putting in thousands of dollars and they basically see that and then they want the same thing for themselves. But here's the thing, if you're not gonna put in the money and you haven't put in the time, I'm sorry to tell you that in life, you're just not gonna get what you want if you're not willing to put in the time or the money. It's just, that's, that's not how it works. That's not how it works, right? So <laughs> just chill, just chill guys, all right? I'm gonna wrap it here, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm not really trying to waste your time. I just wanted to address some of what I'm seeing in the community, my community and on the reddit too and, and uh the forums bro people are freaking out saying this update is not free to play friendly what do you mean you don't have to spend any money you don't have to so far from what we've seen sure one thing that they have not addressed so far in the game is the lack of like crystals right because if every character related to the black order gets a uniform that's over seven thousand crystals right because you have one for him one for him one for her that's already 3,000 and change. You have one for him, one for her. That's already 5,000 and change. And then Thanos is probably gonna be 1750 because he's the big boy and his uniforms usually cost 1750 on sale, right? So that's like 2K right there, right? So like that's 7K, I get it, it's expensive. But here's the thing, if you're free to play, I'm sorry to tell you, you can't have it your way. It's not Burger King, you can't have everything. So what you need to do is look at the menu and see what looks the most delicious, what looks the most, most appetizing, right? The most satisfying. And then choose that item off the menu and be satisfied by it. 
I'm sorry to tell you, that's just how life works, right? Even for me, there's lots of characters in the game that I want to push. Bro, I'm a collector, right? And also, um, I have OCD, <laughs> self-diagnosed, right? But like, for real, at some point, I'd like to have all my characters at level 70, gear 25. But I know, realistically, that would cost me so much money, right? So I'm just being humble. I'm just pasting myself and slowly going through it. And that's the thing. That's that's what you guys got to do too, you know? Anyways, man, I'm rambling. Catch you guys. Hopefully tomorrow we get a sneak peek. More than likely, they're going to do two sneak peeks back to back for Wednesday and Thursday. And then uh, Friday, probably live sneak. Live sneak? Okay. <laughs> live stream sneak peek. <laughs> and then uh, Monday stream and then tuesday going into wednesday we get that patch notes and all that so should be should be interesting hopefully we get some content but uh if we don't we just got this patch i can wait another month for another world boss legend that'll be nice or maybe like sneaking that thanos world boss legend like for real thanos as a world boss legend thanos and like seriously world boss ultimate thanos is already difficult so if they just took like this uniform and just took all these skills that Thanos has and then maybe combine it with a couple of his other ones. I don't know, man. I think Thanos would be a sick legend to fight off against. It would be annoying as hell because Thanos has always been annoying to fight. Every single version of Thanos, starting from Infinity Thanos to World War's Ultimate Thanos, they've all been incredibly challenging and annoying to face. But I'm, I'm a port, man. So let's see what they do. Catch you guys. Peace.